so we're coming to you uh, kind of a spontaneous review. Usually we kind of um, plan this out a plan little it bit out better. A little bit. It's a little bit of spontaneous review. If you could see our lighting setup, I know it looks like we're in the daytime, but it's actually... It, it probably doesn't work. No, it probably it's not. not. It's, but it's about 8.30 at night. Tonight we got a, a cane. Which is, um, which is done by Oliva. And that's really all I know. Yeah. Be because we didn't really plan for it, we really don't have... A lot of research. A lot of research done. Um, but it's a, a straight Lijero um, Habano wrapper is what's on it Nick, from Nicaragua. Nicaragua. We got it from uh, RMCF, right? Yeah, yep, it was RMCF. in the VIP package. Uh, treat here. So hopefully everybody. the VIP package does not disappoint. Sometimes it does. It's, uh, it does. Uh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Sure. Well, there you go. A little bit of sweetness. Nice little sweet tobacco flavor. Oh, especially on the foot, man. Smells great. Yeah, it does. It smells a little chocolatey. It does. Kinda, I kind of like maybe mocha. Maybe a little mocha. I, I'm getting only chocolate, but maybe a little certainly mocha. sweet and, and um, sweet and delicious. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a better draw. That's a great draw. Mm. That is a great, well constructed stick. Yeah. It's got some 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 stems or something maybe in mm. in it. Spicy? No. Really? Mine's none, a little spicy. None at all. I'd be interested to see what happens here on, on the like. It's um <laughs> It's a bad taste. <laughs> it's a bad taste. Uh some spice. I knew I tasted the spice. Ah! <laughs> yeah, oh, geez, that's spicy. Oh my god. I knew I tasted that spice in there. Man, these people on here are probably thinking, what are these pussies? <laughs> <sighs> wow. That's spicy. That is very spicy. Uh, nothing from that sweetness on the nope. smell comes through at all. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> So we're at a, a, the, the first third here. Had a change of venue, as you can see, we're now in my creepy garage. Sorry about that. Um, had a little weather roll in outside. Yeah, it started raining. So. so we brought our light set up in, and uh, my wife left to deal with the smell. You know what I mean? And the ash on the floor. Thanks. So, um, the good thing about this cigar at the first third is the spice is completely gone. Thank God. Yeah, that's a godsend, because the spice was just kicking hard and, I, and we're not fans of spice. Oh, I, I know a lot spice. of people are spicy people, they like spice and cigars, not us. Um, but it has mellowed out, but I think really from how bad it was at the start for us, it really left a bad taste in our mouth. It just kind of ruined your mouth. A little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, I went in the house, got some water, I uh, came back out and <coughs> um, it had put itself out. And uh, so I kind of touched it up, relit it, and almost vomited. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you <laughs> did. He jumped away from the table. Well, I mean, <laughs> I can't imagine that it's that bad, but then I can't also say that I've never gagged at a cigar. Sometimes yeah. they're just that, they're not good for you. Yeah. Um, but I think this one's, I'm not going to say it's turning into something good, it's just turning into something better than it was at the start. Um, I, I think it could get better. Unfortunately, like I said, I think there's just that bad taste that got kind of got left in my mouth, and I wasn't... Um, I don't know if I'm just not receptive to all the flavors that there might be in this, but I'm just kind of almost done with it already. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it all, but um, that, that that is something to keep in mind for the rest of this review. Um, is is I might not be completely into it unless I say otherwise. Yeah, I mean we'll, we'll keep going. Um, I gotta give it its due, you know. Sure. Um, but so far not a fan. No, no. So hopefully it'll change. Um, I'm not tasting. Um, anything again like I said since this is a spontaneous review um, we didn't really do our research we don't generally look up what so no, we don't need to look at that stuff um, anyways I don't know I'm not really tasting anything that since that spice is gone it just tastes like a cigar yeah. it's kind of ho-hum like you yeah. always say it's a ho-hum cigar, cigar right cigar. now the burn is atrocious though I've it had is. to touch it up it probably is. every three or four minutes I have to touch yeah, it up mine's not horrific but it's not good either so all right let's just keep on going and we'll come back and and hit the sub of the half, huh? Okay, so we're back. Um, um it was, it's been about five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Scene one, Apple take two. Listen, cigars are supposed to be <clears throat> enjoyable, yeah. right? Sure. Um, if, if when I take a pull and a dry off this stick, and 
multiple times in the same, I don't know, half an hour period, I feel like I'm going to throw up. And he actually does. Yeah. Um, that to me is not an enjoyable experience. And I can tell you it's not from a bunch of alcohol because I haven't had any alcohol to drink at all. Right. I think you've had a beer. I had not even, it was a the hard cider. So, um, it, it's just not good. Th this is how far we've gotten, and this is how far we're going to go. I'm just not doing it. I don't, I don't want to say we pride ourselves on finishing all the cigars we do, but I, I guess at some point we can't do that all the time. And listen, it, just, it was one of the tenants when we started this thing. No matter how bad it was, we smoke it all the way down and give it a full review. I'm just not going to throw up to get a review. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of chunks came out of my mouth. And then this is not... We're not seriously trying to be funny or anything. No. It's just been a bad cigar. It's been bad for us. Um, and and so this this was the um, Oliva Cane 6... Or I think it was... Torpedo. The Torpedo Habano. Um, it, it's... I, I, just, I can't... I can't, I can't even say what it is. I know. I it's, it's. I mean, obviously, it's a zero for me. Sure, and I think score wise, I think it's a. It, I, I'll give it a one. A just one. And, and I'll give it a one because I think the constru construction is is good on it. It's a nice, to well constructed. But everything else sucks. The burn sucks. The taste is horrible. And I really want to know: Did we just get two bad cigars? Did we pick? Did we get these from a box that are just bad ones? I mean, they've been they've been humidified next to everything else I've smoked. Yep. Since Rocky Cigar since August. Uh, Fest, Rocky Mountain Cigar Fest. It's been since August. They've been sitting in there. They've had time to chill. Um, I I'm, I'm not even gonna give it a one for construction. If you vomit while smoking a cigar, not due to alcohol or food poison, it's a zero. Yeah, not good. It's not a good. bad stick. Not good. So if you had one and we're just off our rocker and you've had it and it was great. Let us know, man, because if we get enough people are like, oh, it was great, it was great. We'll pick up another I one. I might pick up another one, but I can't do this tonight. No. Per, per, our, our, if we're going to do it again, our per, our first review of this, our first try, first go around on this is definitely zero. And I, like I said, I give it a one because I think it's well constructed, but I, nothing else gets points. So it's it's a one. This is the worst cigar I've ever had because I don't want to finish it. Yeah, no, um, I don't want to finish it either. And so, again, if you've had these and you say, God, man, I, when I had it, it was great, or... God, those guys are pussies. I mean, let us know. You know, tweet at us uh, at Tap That Ash. Uh, this is at Arrogant Burner and at Dirty Larry TTA. Um, you can look us up on Twitter. You can find us on Instagram at Tap That Ash. Reddit. We're on Reddit. We're on. Um, we have our own website. We got YouTube comments. Let us know because this has been probably the worst cigar that I could ever have thought that it's I would terrible. ever smoke. And it's worse than the uh, the Padron that I gave a point. Yeah. Yeah.